so so mad and I'll bring to you today a very quick video just a bonus if you like because I got my hands onto a think pink um, prescription box uh, I think this is probably the third or fourth that Andrea has done from beyond the pink door and um, I just haven't haven't been in at the right time to do it and they sold out incredibly quickly and then Andrea said that she had um, four that she could make up um, using separate pieces of fabric. So that is what I've got my hands on. So it's, as far as I'm aware, um, it's not going to be a continuous piece of fabric in this one, um, which is why she was able to add a couple on at the last minute. Um, and I'm really excited. So I thought I'd just take you through. Um, all my family are taking the mickey out of me, by the way. They knew I would want to video it. My husband stole this off the doormat, hid it under his jump and said, oh, it hasn't arrived. Um, and they're both here in the house. So there's probably bound to be comings and goings and all sorts. So I am I'm channeling my inner pink. I've got pink trousers, pink trainers, pink cardigan, pink lipstick. That's it, it's all go. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, let's, um, yeah, so it's beautifully packaged and it's wonderful. Um, I've even remembered to scribble out my address this time. Um, well, I don't, I don't really ever do unboxings of any kind. Um, but I remembered to take my address, or, uh, address off this time. Oh, do you know what? It's, what a super experience already. Because obviously we don't know what's in here. And I, like yourselves, I've seen lots of, um, pictures and footage and on Instagram and, and so on of people opening their parcels. So um, here we go. Um, and Andrew was describing last night that t um, these boxes now leave Ireland under electric power, so no emissions, which is really cool. So beautiful um, box here. It's quite weighty, which is exciting. Lovely little sticker. Aww. You can just, I tell you, you can just sense the, the care and attention that's gone into all of this. So thank you in advance, Andrea. So, lovely. Are you ready? Drum roll. Oh, it smells. The whole box smells amazing. Mmm. Okay, so welcome to the Think Pink, Pink subscription box. Thank you for purchasing Think Pink's box four. We hope you love the contents as much as we do. It smells, it smells amazing. Sort of smells of lavender. Um, to accompany your box, we've created a YouTube video. That's nice, I didn't know about that. You scan the QR code with the camera on your phone and you'll be brought to a video on our YouTube channel. Oh, lovely thing. That's really sweet. Ooh. Oh, it's so exciting. It's all beautifully wrapped in beautiful tink, pink tissue paper here. Oh, my word. My goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, I hope you can see that all right. It's, um, wow, it's extraordinary. I've never seen a fabric like it. So think pink subscription box, the beautiful picture in your sewing room. Thou shalt not. Ask when it will be finished. <laughs> Cut anything uh, with, scissors, with my fabric scissors. Request that I hem your pants. Speak to me when I have a seam ripper in hand or tell me I have too much fabric. <laughs> Love it. Um, You'll also not push any buttons on my sewing machine, bring me clothes to iron, pull on any loose threads, or wonder aloud why I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> Love that. Oh my goodness, look at these lovely things. Oh my goodness, where do I start? Okay, so we've got these absolutely cute, so cute, these little cotton um, patches, they're called. They're sort of embroidered, and you've got a strawberry and the cherries. That's very cute. Oh, it smells amazing. It still smells amazing. Wow. Oh, we've got a wicket down here somewhere. Walking around in circles. Oh, look at these. Oh, these are cute. Oh, look at that now. The gingham is all the rage. We've got some gingham bias binding, one in navy and one in a beautiful red there. We've got some matching cotton. That's amazing. And we've got here um, soapy loo soapery um, lavender. Oh, that looks amazing. And that says, handmade with love on that. That's beautiful. Look at that. 
the lovely soap in there. I won't open that right now, but that's glorious. And then the main event, which is amazing. Look at that fabric. Oh my goodness. Wow. Now, as, as I say, I haven't got a continuous piece, so I've got two pieces. That is amazing. Now, that I've got to say already that that isn't something that I naturally would have chosen myself. Look at that. It is a embroidered chambray. Absolutely stunning. I can see that making a beautiful dress, a shift dress or a, possibly a shirt dress. Absolutely lovely. Look at that. Wow. That is so pretty. And there is a lot here. Gosh, that is a lot. Um, or I could see that being a cord, so I quite like a pair of wide leg trousers and a simple, a simple top in that. Um, but wow, I love it! What a treat! Um, just yeah, this smells amazing, um, and I love the idea that we could put possibly finish it off with these as well. Well, thank you, Andrea. That's a real treat. Um, yeah, just wow. The quality of everything on here is just magical um, and I look forward to sharing with you all what I make. Um, but you have real fun with the direction um, the direction of the embroidery there. Um, definitely, yeah, definitely either a shirt dress would look absolutely stunning or maybe some wide leg trousers with a, a, a very cute crop, um, or not crop as such, but sort of hit you at the natural waist top I think that would, and then you could play with the, the direction of the um, the stripes and things or the the print in the fabric it's super summery super beautiful quality um, and yeah just love it so thank you Andrea hello so I'm back so <laughs> I could have ended the film and then thought I've been as obviously my first box so how does one react how does one film so my husband, my husband's sitting up the other end with whippets and phones going off and all sorts of things. But then I figured, um, actually, I'll take you through some of the um, things that have been bubbling around in my head ever since I received this fabulous fabric. So in front of me here is a pile of the patterns that I already own. Um, excuse me, I'll take a sip of drink. Which is just elderflower squash. Um, and um, I can take you through those. Um, I've just watched, um, well, a couple of hours ago now, I watched Andrea's YouTube video, which was just great, full of inspiring ideas and things. And what's great about that, and I guess, um, I've just seen Rowan has, uh, from, uh, Rowan has just uploaded an unboxing, and there's other people that do unboxings as well. And I guess all of us just get to share our thoughts on what we would make, um, which obviously fits our personal style. So um, the other thing I wanted to show you was this beautiful soap. Um, it's got this. Um, look at that! Isn't that stunning? It's got a moon, a man in the moon, and it smells absolutely amazing. So I'm glad I didn't open that before. So, oh, this fabric, honestly, I just love it because genuinely, I don't think I would have bought this um, because I just wouldn't. It's just. I don't think I've actually ever seen a fabric like it before. Andrew was explaining how um, how rare it is. Um, and I just, yeah, I love that. So, yeah, it's really taken me out of, not out of comfort zone exactly, because I'm not uncomfortable with it, but it is very different. But Andrea went to skirts, tops, uh, sort of skirts and dresses predominantly, um, in her suggestions, and I've gone to trousers and jumpsuits. So that's the great thing about the individual styles we have. So... Um, this is an old favourite, um, I'll probably put a better picture of it up here. So this is the New Look um, 6466. Now when I started sewing about seven years ago, everyone was making one of these. This is the Anthea Allen um, of the sewing world, <coughs> as equivalent, because everyone's making Anthea Allen. At the moment everyone's making uh, the slip dress. Um, so yes, this, but this, um, let me lean right in, uh, is a fabulous jumpsuit. And I, I think I would either make the three-quarter length here um, or the romper version, which I think would look really cool. Um, and Karen from uh, uh, So Little Time, she's made one of these, uh, and one of her colleagues as well. Oh, and um, Angela from Devon Thread Tales, they sort of Zoom call things. Um, so I think that would look amazing in this fabric. Um, and I would actually... 
with that, I would actually extend the amount of fabric I use on the outside by using <coughs> something from my stash. Would you, Alice? That's very exciting. Um, I would use, uh, this is a, um, a cotton that I got from my top <coughs> fabrics, so that I wouldn't use up um, uh, fabric on the inside, if that makes sense. So that was one option. Um, sorry about the singing dog in the background. She's very enthusiastic about my makes, obviously. Um, all of these are, are just envelopes, so I'm sorry that I haven't got pictures. I will insert pictures. Um, so a jumpsuit there, I think. Um, another another option, jumpsuit. Well, well jumpsuit wise, I think would be the Alexa um, Alexia jumpsuit from Tilly and the Buttons. You can see this is how I store all my patterns. So I'll put the stock photo here. Now I went to Fabric Godmother um, over the weekend, and one of their colleagues was wearing the Alexa jumpsuit in a lovely pink denim. It was amazing. And just really, I, I made an Alexia as, when it came out, and um, I haven't made one since. And I love the romper version of it. Um, if I can find a picture of that, I'll put that in here. But it creases like mad. But the, the beautiful thing about this fabric, um, this won't crease, and it would be really robust. I would make the romper version, I think. I think an all-over jumpsuit, I think, might look um, a bit busy for my style. But I think the romper in that, which is what I've made here, would look absolutely superb. You know I love a pair of dungarees and the heyday dungarees out of this fabric would be absolutely amazing. I recently shared a post about my heydays in my capsule wardrobe um, for my French um, my French visit, but I think heydays, I'll put, again I'll put a picture of my version um, here, oh, that would be amazing with a simple white tee underneath. Oh, that would be dreamy and I would absolutely love to put um, a little patch uh, on the pocket I'll put the little strawberry or maybe the, the cherries I think that would be really cool um, and there is a lot of binding with that so I definitely could do part of that with this I think that would be amazing um, I also was thinking separates um, so I'm, although I do make some dresses, um, I, I love a, a pair of a trousers. Today, although you're not going to see them brilliantly well, I have my wide leg trousers on. Um, these are the free pattern um, from Peppermint magazine. And actually I put these on um, to remind me of the fit of them because they are one of the things that I've got down here. In fact, it's the very next pattern on my on my pile, so not that you can see that, but I'll pop, I'm sure you know about the wide leg trousers. Um, for me, they've got a really unusual waistband on them, so um, I end up doing just a simple rectangular waistband um, and ignoring the pattern piece for that because it just doesn't work out for my shape. Um, on a similar vein to that, which I know Andrea also mentioned in her video, were the lambda pants and shorts. I think they would look amazing. To be fair, I've got so I've got the wide leg trousers, I've got the lambda pants, um, I've got the Persephone trousers. They are all quite a, a similar style, so they are all full length potentially if you want to make them that way. Um, so I think all three of those Persephone trousers fit me like a dream. They really are amazing. Um, actually, I like the wide legs for that as well, but somehow the Persephones fit even better. But then I figured, well, it's a very summery fabric, so it's, it's most likely that I wear them um, when it's more seasonally relevant. I'm not sure I would um, pick this up in the middle of winter because of the weight of the fabric and obviously the, the lovely um, sort of summery vibe of the, of the flowers. Um, so then I thought um, three quarter length. Now, you know, I'm absolutely in love with it. I wish I knew how to say it. It's like the Seguero set, isn't it? Um, Aina trousers, A-I-N-A, Aina trousers from Named Clothing, um, you know I'm absolutely in love with them, um, I've made, I've got the red pair, um, straight leg, I've got the red denim wide leg, I've got a grey pair already cut and a straight leg and I'm thinking wide leg of um, the, this in this fabric would be amazing. Um, the flint trousers also um, by Megan Nilsson with that beautiful tie at the waist. I think that would look amazing. I'll pop a stock photo of that in there. Um, uh, so anyway, I'll talk about those. I've talked about those. Um, and then lastly, in the bottoms, I'm thinking of the Sky Shorts from Peppermint Magazine. Um, I think they would look amazing. Now, Sky Shorts are actually a free pattern. Um, now, looking at the picture, they look like they're quite a wide leg. 
So my only concern about this was this has got quite a bit of structure. It's not got drape as such. So I think they might be a bit bulky um, for my liking, that is. I think uh, I've tried to make wide trousers before. <laughs> they just don't do anything for me. But I do really like the look of the Sky um, shorts. Um, I just want to hug it all the time. It's lovely. Um, so I think I would probably go for a Persephone shorts or the Lambda shorts um, if I was going to go for a shorts pattern. And then finally, um, another couple of options for me would be um, a couple of dresses. Uh, and I mentioned in my first video when I was super excited, um, I would think about um, the Alex shirt dress and I'll need to put a stock put a stock photo in here. The Alex shirt dress by So Over It is a lovely dress. Um, I made one in a chambre actually a few years ago um, and I just absolutely love it. Um, or you can make the shirt. Now obviously the Cali would be amazing I think. Um, but for me, I think I'd need to go all in um, on the trousers and wear a white top. And I was thinking about um, making just a very simple t-shirt and then putting a band of fabric, of coordinating fabric at the bottom. So you've got the wide leg um, culottes potentially and then um, a white linen top with the band potentially around the bottom and maybe the cuffs. I just think that would be an amazing cord, I really do. Um, so you've got, um, but if you're gonna go all in, um, yeah, I think a dress would be okay. And then my latest, one of my latest makes is the Olivia um, blouse and dress by Atelier Dupe and I'll pop a photo, yeah, the stock yeah. photo in there of that. Again, it, it, this has got a lovely structure to it. Um, and I think you could make that dress in a, um, in something that hasn't got drape. The reason I would say I'm not so sure about a, a blouse or something is for me, I don't know what I'd wear on the bottom half with this. Um, that's not to say you couldn't because it's beautiful, but that's just how my style would work. Um, so my head would go, what colour jeans would I wear with it? Um, etc, etc. So that is my that is my thinking. And I, I have got so many plans um, already. Uh, my family are like, Okay, different day, different make. Um, I'm absolutely so. And then you just have so this. So we plan one more time. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly what we mean. But literally, they have this look. I walk into the room, they go, uh, I go, another dress, another top. They, even just this weekend, I've made an extraordinary amount of things. I can't help myself. <laughs> but Andrea, once again, I want to just say how inspiring this is. Um, and I genuinely, I want to bump everything else off my list. And just crack on and make some trousers out of this or, or whatever it is I choose to make because genuinely I have loved the process of coming up with some new ideas about a fabric that I knew nothing about. So I hope you found that interesting. Please let me know what you think. What would you make? What would you make out of the plans that I've talked about here? Um, and I love the opportunity to pop a lovely little cheeky label, a uh, little patch, sorry onto any of those makes as well and like on the heydays I think it'd be really cute having a little a little um patch on the pocket there um yeah that is definitely one of my favorite ideas and actually I think there's enough fabric here for me to do a couple of things so exciting times all right everybody stay safe and well I'll catch up with you again soon bye